right, friends and neighbors, time now for another networking video. This time we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do some network math. And today's calculation is the Cyclical Redundancy Check, or CRC. So what is a CRC? Well, it is a 32-bit Cyclical Redundancy Check, also known as the Frame Check Sequence. Now it turns out that when we send data across a network, we almost always have some form of error checking. And in the case of our local area networks, in particular Ethernet and 802.11 for today, the thing that's at the end for the error checking is called the CRC32. So if we take a look at the images from the actual standards on the left in the bottom, we've got an 802.11 or Wi-Fi frame. And all the way at the end, we see that four byte frame check sequence. That's the CRC. And on the right, we've got an image from the 802.3 standard, which is Ethernet. Now it doesn't really matter if you're talking about 802.3 or uh, DIX or Ethernet type two, they both do the same thing. And all the way at the bottom of that stack, which is at the end of the frame, is the frame check sequence or the CRC32. So all of our local area network protocols that are used today do the same thing, which is a CRC32. Awesome, can I see it? Well, you can't. So the CRC32 is at the end of the frame and the preamble is at the beginning of the frame, but they're not very much use for us in terms of data. And so the NIC actually does a little bit of processing of a frame before we can see it with Wireshark or TCP dump. Now the nice thing about that is that the NIC actually does the processing. So most of the cards that you put in a machine today have processors and memory on them. The same is true for your video card. And so the NIC does all of this processing. It the, turns out that the CRC32 is a large calculation and the NIC offloads that from the operating system. And so the operating system software doesn't have to do it. It's pretty cool, but it does end up meaning that the CRC and the preamble are stripped off. And in the bottom of this slide, we can see that I've got a Wireshark capture here, and you can see the fields that we're used to, the ones that we've come to know and love in Ethernet, and we got the destination and source MAC addresses, and then the ether type, which is 0800, which means IPv4 in this case. But we don't see the preamble or the frame check sequence at the end. Fine, but what is the actual CRC? Well, it's a high order polynomial that is a function of some of the frame content. So right from the standard, we can pull G of X. And there we have it there. My goodness, that's a lot of terms. And then there's a process that we go through to actually perform this calculation. And so the steps listed in the standard go something like this. We complement the first 32 bits of the frame. Now I'll go over complements in another video. This one happens to be the ones complement. And then the first n bits of the frame are used as coefficients to the polynomial that you see here. Now the polynomial m of x turns out to be uh, of a degree n minus 1. So however many bits that is, you're going to be uh, n minus 1 in m of x. So we, now we've got two functions. We've got g of x and we've got m of x. Now m of x is now multiplied by x to the 32nd power and then divided by g of x, which produces a remainder of degree less than or equal to 31. All right, so the whole magic here is that you've got one function that's divided by another function, but the key is that we want to keep the degree to a certain uh, level. So after all of our machinations with m of x, we multiply it by x to the 32nd power and then divide it by g of x, shown up there, and that produces a remainder with a degree of less than or equal to 31. So remember that the degree is the highest power. So zero through less than or equal to 31. And then the coefficients of the remainder, r of x, are the 32-bit sequence, which is appended to the end of the frame. And there you go. That's a quick look at how the CRC is actually calculated. So it's a complement and then a little bit of division, and then the remainder is what's actually appended. And the idea is that you do this on your end, 
send it across the network, the receiver does the exact same calculation and then you compare the results. And if the number that the receiver gets is the same as the number that you appended to the frame, presto, we have no errors in this frame. And there we have it. There's our first network math video, a quick look at the cyclical redundancy check. 802.11 does the exact same way that we talked about. And so now you're prepared to do those calculations on any packet you see or any frame that you see. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe if you're just jazzed about networking and this new set of videos of network math. And hey, whether you're error-free or have to retransmit because you had an oops along the way and CRC caught it for you, may those packets always reach their destinations.